Well, good evening. Welcome to a live, interactive, special programme that's to talk about our new studio for Revelation TV. And I'm pleased to say that to, to help me tonight as we talk about it, uh, sitting beside me on the couch are none other than Mr Howard Cunder himself and Alan Tun. You'll know that for a long time now, we've been talking about the need for a new purpose-built studio. On the other hand, if you're new to Revelation TV, you'll say, what are they talking about? Well, this is the way that I explained it when we had our last Time for Revelation meeting, and it'll just bring you up to date with where we're at. The Bible talks about patience as being a virtue. Unfortunately, it's a virtue that I struggle with. If we make a decision in Revelation TV, my watchword is, let's do it. And so, a year ago and more, in fact, it was March 2014, when Howard and Hugh and I went on air and talked about this wonderful vision of a brand new studio that would do everything that we needed to do at Revelation TV, I really believed that by now, not only would the studio be built, but we'd be actually saying to you, come and see the fruit of the generosity of the gifts and see the opening of the TV studio. But 2014 came and went, no land. The first part of 2015 came and went, no land. And, and we were beginning to say, Lord, have we got it wrong? What, what are you saying about the land? Well, I'm delighted to say to you today, the land has been identified, the deposit has been paid, the contracts have been signed, and completion is set for October 2015. And the land in question? Well, it's this land that's behind me. It does everything that we need for a TV studio. It's the size that we want. It's within the distance of our existing studio and offices and all the facilities that we need. It's got the right cable coming in for us to be able to have our studio here. So much that we want to share with you. First of all, we want to say thank you to the Lord and thank you to you for making the purchase of this land possible. But Howard, I mean, here we are, we've been talking for quite some time now about vision for a new studio. Uh, we're all excited about it. I mean, perhaps if it would help if we could just relay some of our excitement about the studio to, to those who are watching. OK, I think we need to go back a few months because we, and it all started was uh, when I felt, well, do you know what? Let me just put out a fleece there. For those who are Christians and understand the Bible, they'll understand what I mean. You know, put, get in, put out a fleece, just to check with the Lord, was it OK for him to do a certain project? And so I felt the same that would it be right to have our own studio at last? We're in this studio here, which is an underground car park. That's what it was. And the ceiling height isn't high enough. There's all sorts of other restrictions. There's columns here, there, and everywhere. That's a pillar, which shouldn't be there, which supports the ceiling uh, for the car park, you know, but it's not a studio. But we, we're doing okay. Jesus was born in a stable. That was okay, and he became king, and he's uh, raised to the most highest position that one could be in. And I think that now is the time for us to have our own studio. So putting out the fleece, I asked the viewers, would you support us? Well, it was amazing how much came in, a million. So now we can go and purchase the land. So the next phase is to build a building. I, I suppose my first question is, um, we've already had a lot of money in. Uh, we're now committed to spending it. Just talk us through a little bit about that, can you? Yes, of course. OK, so Revelation Foundation is a UK charity and is registered with the UK Charity Commission. <clears throat> in other words, the Charity Commission is the regulator of Revelation Foundation and therefore Revelation Foundation is answerable to the Charity Commission for what it does with donations. So donations come in and we have to spend that money in accordance with our charitable purpose and the entity that regulates that we are spending it in accordance with our charitable purpose is the Charity Commission. Could we actually show uh, what the land's all about next? Well, let's, let's do that. We, we've, we've got this zooming in footage. I, I think it's from Google Maps or somewhere, which just shows where the land is. There it is. It's going to appear on the screen now. On the edge of the town in Lacala, you see there there's a, a yellow building. Uh, with the blue office outline. These are just outline measurements that are going to appear on your screen, which uh, give us uh, so basically... You can see 26 metres there, you can see 23 metres. So that will be the floor space 
Um, Which we, is 1,000 square metres, isn't it, approximately? Just under. Uh, what we saw in the previous photographs were examples of different studios that other people have. And this would be a similar size to the smaller of those studios. That's right. This may be nothing like what it's going to look like in the finished of product. Course not. But this is what's in our imagination at the moment as to the kind of studio that we've seen elsewhere and that would be suitable. If we had something like this, then it would be eminently suitable for the kind of programs that we transmit. Yeah. You see uh, the yellow part of the building is actually the main studio part. And you can see there are no pillars in between holding up any walls or ceilings because the, the construction will be made in such a way that it would just gives you a very large floor area, which is what we need. You may be trying and can't get through. If so, please do keep trying. And if you've just tuned in and wondering what's happening, then let me just say this is a one-off special program tonight where we're really launching the next stage of our building project and uh, those of you who've been with us for quite some time will know that we've been appealing for funds in order to purchase land so that we can have a purpose-built studio let me just remind you of what monies have come in so far and what we've done with it under a million pound that has come in. What have we done with it? Well, we've put it into two funds now. We have a figure of £287,754 that's in sterling. That's what that sign means there. And we've set that money aside. It's still in our sterling account. But we've also now opened a euro account. And the remainder of the million that we had in has been put into euros. And we have currently sitting in the euro account 1,100,926. And of that money, we have now spent 50,000 euros. That's what we've paid as the deposit on the land that we've uh, now uh, signed on. So just wanted to keep you up to date with the building fund. That's where it's at. A lot more information coming soon. That's Fantastic. right. That's right. Really and, and we have no debt. And uh, our desire is to build with no debt. And we have no plans, we have no contingency in order to go and borrow money. And, and so the pace at which we build will be the pace at which you decide to stand with us. This is just the start tonight of what, what we believe will be a, a long-term project. And you'll have an opportunity any day during office hours to ring the office or to write to us at our UK address and uh, to support us with a, a cheque. Or indeed, you can go to the website and you can make a donation there. Thank you for every one of you who stands with us and we so appreciate it.